Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be playing some more Hypixel Skyblock. So in the last episode, we ate a booster cookie and got pretty rich. And we also um, unlocked the Blaze Rod collection. As you can see now, like I did replace as many of the minions I could with Blaze minions. I placed every single one of the ones I crafted down. So like I took away the Diamond minion, the Emerald minion, the Gold minion, the Coal minion, and the Lapis minion. And I also took away the Cow minion, the Zombie minion, the Pig minion, and the Skeleton minion. It's so, like... And, and both the wood minions, the birch minion and the dark oak minion as well. But I did, of course, leave some of the minions there just so I could, like, still get, like, collections of them and stuff. I probably should get rid of the torches there because it's kind of, like, interfering with the ice minion a little bit. And that's going to be a little annoying. I haven't collected from the fishing minion last time, so, like, let's see what we can get out of it. Now, I currently do have my bee pet, like, I could use that for farming. So, we just unlocked a crap ton of stuff. We got to skybox level 54. And, yeah, our fishing leveled up, I think, twice. So, like, that's going to be very useful for us, you know? We got, like, so many collections, like, just from doing that, right? And it's going to be cool. What's the Prismarine Necklace? Okay, so it gives Sea Creature chance, and it reduces your damage from Sea Creatures. So that's very interesting. I could get something like that. But, yeah, let's see if I can upgrade the Fishing Minion. I have 54 Enchanted Raw Fish, and I don't even have enough. That's kind of upsetting. But, yeah, the rest of these minions are working pretty hard. If we check on, like, some of the Blaze Minions, they already have, like, five Enchanted Blaze Powder. So we're probably going to wait until, like, they get, like, a little more and then just collect from them all at once. Because it's already, like, a hassle just to, like, collect from them, like, with, like, all the blazes being in the way. So, yeah, this episode is going to be a farming episode. I'm just going to head straight to the garden, like, right now. And if we go over here, as you can see, I already, like, bought and claimed, like, five different plots. So, like, plots four through eight are, like, all already, like, cleaned and stuff like that. It only took me, like, half an hour to, like, clean each of them. Like, or all of them, actually, like... Like, it took, like, around, like, I'd say, like, seven minutes each or something, like, per plot or something. And then I was able to clean all of them. But yeah, with those plots clean now, I can actually, like, change, like, the crop they have. So, like, as you see, I have carrot, potato, pumpkin. So, like, we can make some this one, like, sugar cane. And the thing is, though, we don't even need to, like, go in, like, bazaar or anything. We can just go to, like, the inventory now. So, like, you can get, like, enchanted, enchanted drops or something. And I can just purchase the resource. And then it can just start planting that way. And that's going to be, like, really useful for us, right? Now, I'm going to go ahead and open my personal bank, which still has 45 million coins, which is honestly a lot. I don't know if I have anything in the auction house right now. No, I don't. What about the bazaar, though? Uh, I don't have anything in the bazaar either. So, yeah, we are currently sitting at 45 million coins. And 45 million, that's kind of a lot, right? Why'd I go to the auction house again? I meant to do a slash bank. We're probably going to take out, like, 100 or, yeah, like, 200K. Like, just to make sure that we have, like, coins on us, just so we can, like, paste, like, the other plots. So, yeah, plot four is going to be cane. Plot five will be melon. Okay, what? A preset has been loaded recently. You have to wait a minute. What? 2,000 years later. Okay, so it's been a hot minute, and, like, a lot of these plots have already grown. So, like, some of these, like, plots, like, they're going to have to, like, wait for, like, the melons to grow and all that. But, like, the sugarcane one's, like, growing. And by grow, I meant, like, it's not done growing. It's done pasting, but, like, it still needs to grow. And this one still needs to paste to, like... It's kind of, like, annoying how you have to do, like, one at a time. Like, you can't just do them, like, all at once. But, like, if you could do them all at once, that would, like, save, like, a lot more time. So, yeah, we still have four pets on the garden. We're gonna go ahead and talk to Pest Hunter Philip because, like, he's gonna have the solution to that. So, yeah, I think it's this guy. So, he's like, I got a report of a pest outbreak around here. So, he's like, are vermin, swine, buggers, you know, pests? They seem to pop up when you're breaking crops in your garden. So, he's like, take this Skymar vacuum. The pest out there somewhere, I'm certain of it. So, do I get one for free? Okay, interesting. So I got a vacuum. So I did get it for free. I thought, like, you had to pay money for it, but, like, you actually don't. Oh, whoops, I just dropped it. <laughs> it's it's worth 600k. So, yeah, last time I just, like, ended off the episode because I didn't know how to, like, deal with them. But I think all you have to do is just left-click the pest, and then they just die, right? Hey, get back here. Oh, you right-click. So, like, it does that. Can I spam right-click? Oh, it worked. There you go. I killed it. So I got, um, your garden is no longer infested and your farming fortune has returned to normal. So that's really cool. So now my farming fortune is back to normal. I think I lost like 5% because there are too many pests. And I got some farming fortune. You can get 2% fly coins. So like, apparently there, there, there's its own bestiary for those things. But like, it gives farming fortune instead. Instead of like strength and magic find. Like, I still have like three pests in my garden. But like... Turns out you're right click with a vacuum, not left click. And that makes it, like, so much easier, because I don't want to, like, accidentally get rid of my crops, you know? Like, it's still, like, an entire process to kill them. But, like, it's it's still pretty easy, right? 
So yeah, I can reforge it. Um, what can I reforge it to though? I'm gonna try to reforge it. Okay, never mind. It says you can't reforge it. This this thing's a scam. You know, you, you say you can reforge it, and then you say you cannot reforge it. Like I don't understand how that makes any sense whatsoever. But whatever. Okay. So I think we also got like a pest in plot one, and then plot three. So we're gonna immediately get rid of both of those things, both those critters, and then we're just gonna get back to farming, right? Boom. Oh, I got something called a beady eyes. And it says B bonus pest drop plus three crops. Oh, so that's what you put on the vacuums. Um, it's apply cost 100k. Wait, no, this thing's common, so it's only 10k. But like, that's pretty cool. So when killing a pest on your garden, your farming fortune boosts crop gain, increases the chance of rare crop drops. Okay, that's interesting. Like, I don't know why I said plus 185. Like, that mean I gained 185? I mean, I don't know. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh wait, I got enchanted hay bales from it. Like. Oh, that's actually really cool. So I can just kill those pests. Hey, wait, where, where do you think you're going, bud? Where do you think you're going? You're going straight in the vacuum cleaner, bud. Got him. Yes. There we go. what I get from him? Carrots? All right, I'll take those carrots. Sweet. So this thing is rather cheap. Like, 1.3 coins, like, I'm not selling that thing, you know? I'm just gonna, like, apply it to my current vacuum, you know, right? So yeah, it's 10k, and it does more damage and gives intelligence. And then pets drop plus three crops. I think that could be useful, right? Yeah, we could like go to like the visitors and like do their like offers or something. So yeah, this guy wants a chain of sugar. Oh, I can get bits from his wealth because I do have, still have my cookie buff and all. Oh, I can just do this one because I have my, I have the eight and chain of hay bales from doing the thing and he wants seven. So there we go. That was pretty easy. Now, what about this guy? He wants sugar. I don't have sugar. So, like, we probably could, like, start, like, farming these new crops, because that's going to be very useful to us, right? Like, I don't think this sugarcane's, like, completely finished growing, but, like, we can just run around and just farm it, and we can get, like, a crap ton of stuff. Oh, gosh, I am farming a lot. I'm going to probably turn down my game sounds a little bit, because, like, it's kind of annoying, like, hearing all that. Like, I can barely even hear myself, like, over all that. But, like, there we go. I got the enchanted sugar recipe. I also got a speed talisman recipe, which, uh, I don't know where it was, but, like, I think, like, oh, okay, there it is. So, like, it's pretty easy to make, though. I can make one, like, right now. I can make multiple, in fact. But, like, plus one speed. I guess that kind of helps, right? And I only have two slots left. So, like, we're going to have to upgrade this thing soon. And with our new personal compactor that we got in the last episode, we can uh, actually, like, put... Or, whoops. We're going to, like, go ahead and craft enchanted sugar real quick. And then we can just put the enchanted sugar in there. And then now, it's just going to auto-compact, like, everything into enchanted sugar. If I have enough. That's going to be really useful, since now I don't have to, like, stop and, like, craft anymore. Like, this is why you really need more to farm. Oh, I also got the speed ring, so what do I need to craft that? Okay, that's kind of a lot of sugar, but, like, we'll eventually get there, you know? I also got guard level 7, and didn't even realize. And I think I hit Skybot level 54 at one point, like, I don't remember when I hit it. If I hit it, like, before this episode or, like, after, but I'm Skybot level 54. But I know I ended the last episode with Skybot level 53, so that's how I, like, kind of know. So now it says a pest has appeared in plot 7. Which is a little odd, because I'm in plot 4 right now. I don't know why there's a pest in plot 7. But, like, there is, apparently. Like, I think it appeared in the plot next to plot 4. Which, I guess, looks like it can happen. Like, I thought, like, it only appears in the plot you're farming in, but... It can appear in other plots as well. Now, I don't know where the heck this pest is, though, because it's... Oh, there it is. Earthworm. I guess this plot isn't cleaned in the edge, so I guess that's why it's, like, there. This guy not get cleaned? You know, I damage pests with a vacuum. I mean, I am using a vacuum. You just can't left click it. The worm seems to have burrowed its way somewhere else in the plot. Is that what happens when you use an unclean plot? What do you mean, find the worm? Like, I just killed it, didn't I? Did I not just kill it? Oh, it's underground again. You thought you could hide from me? Nah. I I'm getting you this time. Come on. Come on. Yes, there we go. Ooh, melon. Oh, I just leveled up my Skybuck level. That's pretty cool. So yeah, I'm just getting some farming fortune off of that. Which is very nice. I could just like wait for like the pests to like stack up to the point where like I'm losing farming fortune and then I just kill them all at once though. Like I feel like that's smarter, right? Like that way like you kind of like, it's really like a contest and all. Like you're not going to be able to like stop to kill the pests, right? Like you're just going to have to like kind of like deal with them, you know? All right, so this should be more than enough so I can make my speed ring. So, like, the speed artifact is going to be, like, much harder to craft. So, like, I'll probably not be able to make that anytime soon. But let's at least make the speed ring, right? There we go. 
So now it's plus three speed, not just one. And every little bit helps, so, yeah. Now, the thing is, though, I do want to be able to level up my farming higher. So, like, I don't think I should be using the bee pet to, like, farm anymore. Like, I know, like, it gives, like, 12.4 farming fortune. That's, like, pretty good. But, like, I'm not, I'm not doing that, right? We're going to get a rabbit pet. And the cool thing is, it's only 500k. So, we just easily bought one. Now, we're also going to get, like, a farming EXP boost and apply it to the rabbit as well. And this thing is 1.65 mil. And it gets plus 50%. But this one is just plus 40%. Which I find pretty interesting. Like, I'm not focusing on, like, making money from farming. But, like, I kind of just want, like, EXP and all. So, like, we're just going to get a farming EXP boost. Like, I know, like, some other people, like, they might go for, like, a yellow bandana or something. Because it gives, like, farming fortune. But I'm not going to do that. Right. All right. So, I do get garden level 7. So, I should have been I unlocked a new plot. I mean, crop. Okay. So, that's cactus. Now, I think cactus, you need, like, a cactus knife to, like, farm cactus. But, like, we're just going to paste it anyway. Because, I mean, why the heck not? And then once we get garden level 8, we're just going to get whatever comes out of level 8, which I think is cocoa beans. And then, like, 9 is mushroom, and then 10 is nether wart. And, like, we're going to need to get to level 9, because, like, mushrooms are basically, like, the most, like, OP crop there is. Like, hands down, we're going to have to get mushrooms. So, we're going to go over here. We can actually get crop upgrades and, like, get more farming fortune from it, you know. So, like, that could be, like, pretty good, right? I don't really have any copper on me, though. But, like, what I could do is go to the Sky Mart and get myself an advanced gardening axe, which is 25 copper. And I could, like, use that to, like, break melons and all. Yeah, it's replenished on it, which is also kind of cool. We're going to go to ET, just so that I can get a Fincy on it. Oh, wait, I don't have any levels on me. I just decided to buy a green experience bottle, because, like, I'm too lazy to go to my island. Where'd it go? Okay, I can. That was just a little weird. Yeah, there you go. Fincy 5 on this thing. That's pretty cool. And I think I could also get, like, the Blessed Fruit, which is which gives, like, the Blessed Reforge on these things. I think it's what it's called. I only need Mining 25, and I do have Mining 25. Only problem is, though, like, it's kind of, it's kind of expensive, you know? But, like, the apply cost is, like, only 10k, so, like, it's pretty easy to get, right? Oh, wait, I forgot. I gotta carry coins on me. I could actually sell the Jacob's ticket for good money. The 37k for one. And that's kind of a lot. So yeah, there you go. It's only 10k, though. So, like, it's pretty cheap. Okay, I got sent to the lobby. Alright, so it took us a hot minute, but we're back in the garden. Um, there is about to be a Jacob's contest, though. So, like... We could, like, get some good stuff out of it, right? And, like, dig up contest is the reason why people would want Farming Fortune and not Farming EXP, because, like, Farming Fortune is really what makes the world go round, right? Oh, wait, my inventory's already full. I gotta, I, I keep forgetting, I gotta, like, take, like, the personal compactor, like, out and all. Now, only problem is, though, like, I don't have enough melon collection to unlock the Enchanted Melon Recipe, which is at 5,000 melons. It's, like, until I get there, I kind of just have to, like, sell my melons and stuff. There we go. Now I unlock Enchanted Melon. Actually, I'm saying that I probably could have just put the Enchanted Melon in the personal compactor. Although then again, I think they patched it so that, that doesn't work anymore. Like, you need, like, the actual recipe. So, like, even if I did do that, it probably just wouldn't have let me do it. So, yeah, now we can go back to farming. And there's another pest. Like, I could just, like, leave him there. And that way until my farming fortune goes down. And then just kill him all at once, right? Because I think that would help a crap ton, right? I mean, like, let's just say, though, I am harvesting, like, a crap ton of melons right now. I'm already almost at, like, a stack, bro. Like, that's how much I'm getting. Like, it's it's kind of insane. Yeah, now I'm definitely at a stack. For sure. A rabbit pet just upgraded. I locked the chain melon block. Now, I think, like... Oh, well, there is melon armor. And that gives way more farming fortune than the armor I have right now. Like, it only gives 10 per piece. But, like, melon armor gives, like, 20 for the helmet. And then 15 for, like, every other piece or something. I mean, I don't know. But, like, melon armor gives, like, a lot more. So, like, we probably could grind for it. Only problem is, though, like, you need farming le level 25 to, like, even wear it. So, like, until you get that, you're basically stuck with, like, farm armor, which is still good, but I mean, like, it's not the best, you know? And I'm probably just gonna keep harvesting, like, the melons and just get the most farming XP possible, because, I mean, why the heck not? I already got to melon 9, and let's just say, that's kind of a lot of melons. No, it's, it's kind of a lot. Let's see if any of the visitors want melons, though, because if they do, then, like, they're getting them. This guy wants sugar. This guy wants sugar. This guy also freaking wants sugar. This guy wants a champ baked potato, though. And you want carrots. So we probably could just do the visitor offers, you know? Like, we're probably just gonna, like, farm, like, a crap ton of sugar and then just give it to, like, every single visitor. Because, I mean, why the heck not? We can. So, let's probably do just that, right? But first, we've got to figure out where the heck this pest is. I think it's in plot one or something. Because, like, now pests, like, spawn, like, the plots next to the plot you're on instead of, like, just the plot you're on. So, like, it's just, like, a little bit more complicated. But there you go. I killed it. And I got a honey jar. 
I can be it can be sprayed across a garden plot with a spray in here and it attracts things. How do I get a spray in here though? Hey, <laughs> look at that ugly thing, but you had a blast. Yeah, it was okay. I'm fascinated by these little fellers. And he can award me with farming fortune. Oh, that's interesting. So this thing says inactive pest hunter bonus. That's interesting. That's really cool. So pest hunters wares. Oh dang. So you can actually get some talismans and stuff, you know. And it's pretty cheap too, but like you need pest exchange and stuff like that, you know? So I can empty my bag. And what did that do? Thanks for the pets. I got 60 farming fortune. Nice. That's not bad. So that's that's pretty cool, honestly. So yeah, now my vacuum doesn't have any pets in it. But like, I'm starting to find them kind of cute. What? Okay, so you want to attract pets to your plot. So the pets is going to be good because like they can give you farming fortune. So take this tasty cheese and spray your nader. Interesting. I can get bonus pest chance and stuff. That's very interesting. Like a material compost. So I can cycle the material. Plant matter. Is that what I have? No. I need honey jar. There you go. So I can just spray them across a plot. Okay, so like what if I want them in like plot seven or something? Or like if I want them in like plot eight. So I can just put them there. So yeah, it's gonna expire in 30 minutes. It's very interesting. So I'm gonna put this in there. If you already unlocked a speed artifact. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. I gotta put the dumb super compactor in my inventory. For now though, I probably should put like all my other crops in the E-chest though, because I'm not currently using them. It's got sugarcane 10. It's kind of good. Okay, there's a, there's a pest now, looks like. So, it did get sprayed, so of course there's going to be pests in there, it looks like. Like, it kind of took, like, a little bit longer than I expected, honestly. I don't know where the pest is, it's kind of annoying. Like, how I have to, like, find out where the pest is. I'm gonna have to turn off, like, I'm gonna hide my pet, because it's gonna be in the way. This pest is definitely hidden there somewhere. I try using my vacuum cleaner, like, it's not really gonna help. Like, I'm not gonna be able to figure out where exactly this pest is if I can't see it, you know? Thought you could hide from me. And it's dead. There you go. In fact, it gives, like, so much farming XP as well. Like, it really helps, you know? You can get, like, a crap ton of farming XP from these things. So yeah, farming contest is about to start. I probably could hold this thing out and then accept the visitor offers and see if these guys can give me. So yeah, there you go. Well, we got a turbo melon book. These things are cost of 194k. Dang. Okay, I don't have enough sugar now. Probably a weird clip to just farm a few of those carrots, because why the heck not? And then hopefully right when the farming contest is about to start, I'm gonna immediately switch to the melons. Not the wheat though, because like I can only personal compact like one thing at a time. So like with wheat, you need to like personal compact like five different things, and it's gonna be like a bit messy. So like, yeah, we can't really do wheat just for that reason, you know. The next milestone, we should be able to level up our farming to 21. Like honestly, farming is a pretty hard skill to level up. Like I struggle to level it up like every single time. It's just it's just not easy, you know. I also wish it was easier, but it's not. So yeah, if I real quick put some like turbo melon on like my axe or something, because I mean like. I'm probably gonna need the extra farming fortune. So in the fact that like the contest is about to start very soon. So yeah, it's just about to start now. I'm gonna like go ahead quickly switch from carrot to melon. I don't mind chain melon. All right. I'm be a little late, but like it'll be all right, right? So yeah, I might get end up getting no metal at all, but like we're gonna at least try to get bronze or something, you know? I don't know how many people still do these farming contests, but like there's still like a lot of them that like I'm probably not gonna win. Like top 94.9 percent, like that's pretty bad, you know? Like, honestly, though, if I'm really behind that many people, then, like, there's absolutely no way I'll even get bronze, <laughs> right? Ooh, farming 21, perfect. That's gonna help a ton. Well, I mean, it's just four farming fortune, but, like, still, you know. Seems like my farming fortune already... Okay, no, it didn't go down, it's just this thing doesn't have, like, any good enchants that'll boost my farming fortune, so... It just kind of sucks because of that.
right, so the farming contest has ended. Uh, I farmed a crap ton of melons and I like, got some stuff. Also killed like a few pests as well. I killed like three, I think, which is like pretty cool, right? So yeah, like I did end up killing pests during the contest, which is kind of annoying. But like you saw, right, my pest hunter bonus did just expire though, so I did lose my farming force. And I also did get Skybox level fifty six on the way there, and Tamey level twenty seven. So like that's pretty cool, right? So I don't know if I can serve any of the visitors right now though. This guy wants sugar. This guy wants a chain of baked potato. I don't have normal potatoes. This guy wants carrots. And them want the melons though. Okay, good. This guy does want melons. So we'll give it to him. And this guy wants pumpkins. All right. I think we should just turn the rest of our melon into a chain melon blocks, though. Because, honestly, why the heck not? Yeah, okay, there you go. That's like nine. And it sells for 450k, which is not bad. But we're just not going to sell it yet. We're just going to toss everything in there for now. So, yeah, I might as well just go to Jacob right now and just claim our medal. If you have two unclaim rewards. I just didn't earn a medal. I didn't even realize I participated in the potato contest, but I guess I did. <laughs> you know, I get zero bits in a Jacob's ticket. And this one, I get 56 bits and a bronze medal and turbo melon book. And, like, the turbo melon, like, I could either apply it to my axe again, which honestly isn't a bad idea. I could just sell it, but, like, we already have enough money. We don't need to sell it. Oh, wait, I don't have any levels on me. But it's whatever. We can just leave that for, like, next episode. Jacob tickets, on the other hand, though, we can just sell it for easy money. Like, why the heck not? It already fulfilled. What the heck? So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end off the episode here, because it's been going on for long enough. Way too long, and honestly, I need to piss. So, yeah, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and peace out.